we get started, let me show you that my device is not rooted. If I open up a root check app, and as you can see, it says this device is not rooted. But let's go ahead and verify that with Root Checker Basic, another free app from the Play Store. If you tap on Verify Root, and as you can see, it says, sorry, root access is not properly installed on this device, which means my device as for now is not rooted. The universal one touch rooting app that we're going to use today is called as King Root. Again, it's just one app, install it on your device, press on the root button and boom, your device will be rooted. That's how easy it is. In order to get this app, open the first link in the description on your device browser. It'll directly take you to the official XDA developers forum page. And for those of you who don't know, XDA Developers is the most trusted and reliable place for routing tutorials, which means anything that goes up on here is guaranteed certified and legit. Now scroll down and yeah, do read the disclaimer, instructions and the FAQ section given over here. It will answer any questions that you may have about routing. Again, routing might void your device warranty, so make sure that you give one good read of all of this before you begin. Again, King Root is a 100% free app, no ads, no virus. None of that. Once you have read all of these, scroll down until you see the download button and tap on that. Then scroll down until you see the direct download button and tap on that to download King Root. King Root is only 6 MB in size, so it will not take long to download. Once the download is completed, you can go ahead and install this app. But before you do that, make sure that USB debugging is enabled on your device. If you don't know how to do that, simply head over to your device settings. Scroll all the way down until you see the about devices option and open it up. Then scroll down until you see the build number and tap on it 5 to 7 times. And you will see a pop up saying that you are a developer now. Then go back and you'll notice a new settings called as the developers option, then open it up. And make sure that it is turned on and scroll down and you'll find the USB debugging option and turn it on. Hit on OK and you're done. You can turn this off after routing is completed. Once the developers option is turned on, open up King Root APK that you just downloaded and install it just like a regular app. Now if you are installing an app outside from the Play Store for the first time, make sure that unknown sources is checked in the device settings under the security tab. Once the installation of King Road is completed, open it up. You can read the introduction given over here or just simply swipe up to skip that. Then tap on the try it button. In order to root an Android device, you will only have to tap on this Android logo over here and routing will begin. But before you do that, make sure that your device is connected to the internet and it has above 20% of battery on it. Once that is made sure of, tap on this orange Android logo and routing process will begin. The thing that makes King Root the best routing app is that it automatically identifies your device model then it connects with the cloud and looks up for the best routing method for your particular device and then it automatically installs root on your device. Unlike traditional routing methods which require a PC, you'll have to flash the files manually which will not only require some technical knowledge but will also take up to 30 minutes of your time. King Root does all of that for you in under 2 minutes. And just to state you the obvious, during the entire process, do not touch your device, do not fiddle around with it. Just grab a cup of coffee, sit back and let King Root do its magic. And boom, <laughs> rooting is successful. And as you can see, it says successfully obtained root, which is a good news. But let's go ahead and confirm that. Let's open up a root check. Allow the permissions. That's a good sign. And ho hoy, it says that my device is rooted, but let's go ahead and verify that with root checker basic. Allow the permissions. And yup, it says congratulations, root access is properly installed, which means my device just got rooted. So without wasting any further time, let's go ahead and talk about King Root. Now King Root is the root manager for your device. Through this you can control every aspect of root. Now let me show you how the King Root app works and what all feature it has and how to use them. The first option in the list is the root authorization menu. 
Through this, you can control what all apps use as root, you can grant or deny the root permissions and control the overall root access directly from here. Now next up in the list is the uninstall tool. Now by using the uninstall tool, you can get rid of bloatwares. Now bloatwares are apps that comes pre-installed on your device, which you cannot uninstall normally. Now this will help you free up some space on your device internal memory, but be very careful while uninstalling system apps as it can affect your device functionality. The next option in the list is the auto start manager, which is by far the most useful feature of King Root. This enables you to shut down the apps that are always running in the background, eating away your device memory, battery, and slowing down your device performance. Auto start manager will shut down the apps and will not allow them to restart. This will not only help increase your device speed and performance, but also save a lot of battery. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, you can uninstall root. In order to uninstall root, open up King Root, tap on the gear icon at the top right corner of the app. It'll take you directly to the King Root settings, then open up the root authorization option, then open up the remove root authorization option. Read the disclaimer given over here, and once you tap on the clear button, all traces of root will be uninstalled from your device in seconds on rooting your device. And in case if you want to get back your root access, you can always reroute your device by following this same tutorial. Now friends, rooting will not turn your phone into a sports car, neither rooting will convert your tablet into an AK-47. It will only allow certain specific apps that requires root to run on your device. Rooting will allow you to modify, customize and tweak your device. Rooting will also help you to install custom ROMs etc on your device. If you are new to rooting, there is an instruction section in the King Root settings which will answer most commonly asked questions like what is root, how important it is to manage root, how to remove root, about rooting and warranty. So make sure that you do read this. If King Root worked on your device, then do post your device name down in the comments. It'll really help others who have the same device. Now again, rooting via King Root is 100% safe. No data loss, no risk of breaking, none of that. Now on a final note, if King Root